Hello everyone, I am the Toy Major, and today we are here to review DC Classics McFarlane Toys The Riddler. <clears throat> this is one of two variations. It doesn't really mention this, but like the McFarlane Collector Editions, when you order one of these guys, there's a chance you'll get a platinum, and the platinum looks like the uh the animated Super Friends cartoon. Uh, and that one looks entirely different. If I ever get my hands on it, I will review and compare. But until then, this guy is honestly amazing. Look at that pose. That's amazing, man. He's literally such a simple figure. Probably one of the best I've ever gotten my hands on. I kid you not. This is... I can't express the amount of... The amount of love I have for this figure, it's amazing. Here's a card if you want to pause and read it. <clears throat> he comes with your traditional McFarland DC stand. Move that to the side here. Comes with four pairs of hands, has two on, then three other ones, and he comes with a cane. And the cane, honestly, is not even the best part. This figure, I kid you not, if you find one, and you're on the fence about grabbing it, and you're here watching this, stop what you're doing, get some money, get in a car of any kind, get your butt to the store, go find it, and buy it. This is honestly the greatest figure. This is like the best one McFarlane has done I've seen. I mean, I have a couple gold labels that are my absolute favorites, but this one is great. Very good. With the ankle twisting there. The ratchets on this guy are good and stiff, which imply he will be just fine. Or that you will have to apply a little bit of heat, loosen him so he doesn't break. You're trying to pose him. Hold on, look at this. This guy, the amount of flexibility is redon is redonkinous. I actually may have to use a stand for this one. Hold on. It always does that stupid thing. Look at this. Look at this amazing figure. Look at the look at the posing for God's sake. <laughs> this figure is amazing. In fact, hold on. Got one. And the hands pop off pretty well. They don't feel like they're gonna break. I'm sorry, I need to show the best parts of this figure, and then we will get straight back to it. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this amazing posability. It's ridiculous, I tell you. It is amazingly stupid. Amazingly redonkulous. Whether it's this or the Super Friends one, like, it would be something like the card where the eyes have detail. Hair's a bit of a different color. This one has blue highlights, hinting towards his comic book appearance. And that's what this one is. Comic book appearance. So, yeah, this figure is great. It's honestly amazing. It's... I can't describe how this one is literally perfect in every way, shape, and form. Not too much of an ab crunch. A fair bend back. Just don't overdo it. You don't want to break it. Oh yeah, I absolutely love this figure. One thing that is interesting to this figure is the fact that it has these, uh, what do the people call it? Pirate cuffs? I guess you can move it upwards, pop a hand, bend it, and then you can just slide it forward like it's all part of it. You can also pop out the hands 
Hold on, I wonder. I hope this doesn't become a pain to put back on later. Okay, so that's what it looks like without it. Yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm not down though. I'm sorry. It looks better with the cuff. See the hand? Let me see. I need to do another pose. You guys I think understand. <laughs> This guy is literally the king of posing these figures. It's amazing. If you find more than one, you might as well grab it because, oh man, you're you're gonna you're in for a treat. You'll love this guy. I'm I'm not kidding. I could go on and on about how amazing this figure is, but why tell you when I can show you? Darn feet. There we go. Need I say more? It's a figure that basically pays for the $20 price tag by itself. It There's no real reason. If you're a fan, if you're a collector, it's a no-brainer. You'll get this guy. I know you will. Has two hands that hold his cane. Hold on. I'm having too much fun. This is supposed to be a review, and instead I'm just chuckling my butt off, and I'm having way too, uh, way too much fun with this. Hold on. There we go. Something a little less goofy, a little, a little bit more serious. And this figure looks amazing. I, I admit, at first, I um, did a three-pack pre-order. You guys can, um, I mentioned in my <clears throat> Patina Superboy review, the one that looks like a bronze statue, if you remember. And I don't know if I mentioned it, this figure, I'll admit, I was not a big fan of. I, at the time, I thought to myself, you know... I really don't need him. I'll pass. And then when I got him, saw the posability, the amount of fun that he is, it, it was done. No brainer. Nope. You guys need one of those, one of one of these guys in your collection. You really, really do. And obviously, you can find links to purchase it below. And I'm very happy to be putting those because the more these guys get into other people's hands, yeah, I'm just gonna say it. We need the world needs more question marks. There's no doubt about it. This is honestly one of the best figures in the world, in my personal opinion. I don't have the Super Friends one, but when I do, I will absolutely review that one, and then we'll. I guess have a muscular posing contest, because why the heck not? <laughs> so, thank you guys very much for checking out this review. Sorry if it was a little short. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, you can check out the purchase links below. Consider subscribing. I'll leave a like. <clears throat> um, feel free to comment if something is missing from the channel, something to improve, make it better. I aim and strive to become a reliable source for those who are lo looking to make a purchase. Um, and I thank you guys very much, and I will catch you all later.